Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to do a unboxing, an unrolling, an untubing. Not really quite sure what to call this, but we're going to do it. So what did she get this time? Here's a clue, and where did it come from? Here's a clue. It isn't a tube. Yeah, it's in a nice sturdy tube, so, and the label says it's from Zoe. So yes, that means that this one is an ever moment. So this is a piece that I got in the anniversary, during the anniversary sale. So I'm really excited to see this one. That means I pretty much already know what this is. Let me snip this real quick. Wow, that's a little tough to get into. How's everybody's Saturday going? Mine's been very lazy given the fact that I'm not working today. And I'm going to be going to my daughter's later tonight. I have been doing a whole lot of... Oh, my board keeps sliding. I'm doing this on a small little TV tray, so it can get a little bit difficult in here. But um, since I ha am going to my daughter, didn't work tonight, today, or tonight, I'm going to be going to my daughter's in a little while. It's just been a really lazy day. Okay, so this came rolled up very nicely. So nicely, in fact, that I'm having trouble even getting this wrapper off. That's some really thick paper. Let's see if I can peel this out of here. Good Lord! Oh my gosh, there it is. Okay, let's get rid of that. So there is the Ever Moment tube. First thing I'm noticing is my ends are a little like crunched in. I'm sure that's something that happened, you know, during shipping, not something that Ever Moment could control, I suppose. So let's see if I can pull this out of here. Oh, there's my little Ever Moment gift. That's always the first thing that pops out of these packages when I open them. So that's always really fun. Oh, some cute little, little pink bow and a little uh, floral bow. So those are super cute. My granddaughters love those, so I'll be able to take them, those to them later today. So we got some diamonds packaged very, very nicely. And we have a tool kit, which we've all seen a lot of times, but just in case you've never seen it, an Ever Moment tool kit. I mean, hey, it could happen. So we do get a pink pen with a nice purple grippy three placer on this end. Some very, very sharp tweezers, which um, one of the protective uh, covers for the tips, it seems to be off or missing. So that could be, get a bit dangerous. Oh, two plates of pink wax and a six placer. Super cool. So I'll just stick that all right back in there so I don't lose any of that. Especially the six placer. I, for a long time, I could only do, I think that's a six placer. Or is that a nine placer? I can never remember. Is the clear one six or nine? Yeah, it looks like, are the clear six? I think it might be. I don't know if it tells me on there. But we shall find out. <clears throat> okay. Oh, oh, and we have bags. And labels. I always forget that Ever Moment sends labels, but I really like their labels. They're a nice size for labeling the bags or containers. Um, and they send you a lot of them. I always forget that they do that, but that's really nice. I think I'm going to hold those out so I don't forget them. 
Okay, let's get into what we really want to see. Move some of this stuff off my table so I have a little more room. Okay. So, this is a piece that I got. It's a 30 by 40. It looks like it has 34 colors. And that's the image. I thought that was absolutely gorgeous. Some praying hands with some beautiful colors and lights and some angel wings is what that reminds me of coming out in the back and just beautiful light. I just thought that was a beautiful image. So I'm really ex was really excited to get this and to work on it. So let's take a look at what this canvas looks like. Oh, I've been doing so many big pieces that it just seems awesome to have something that's 30 by 40 for a change. My canvas is a little bit like, I don't know, wrinkled up, dented, squished, maybe from when those tops, those end caps came off, but it doesn't look like that's going to be too big of a problem. Although it does look like it's just, I don't know if you can see that, but it's just barely going into my drilling area. So I may need to be really careful to just kind of figure out a way to kind of smooth that out. But we'll see if it affected the canvas or the glue in any way. Hopefully not. So it looks like this did come all in one piece for the cover, which is not really my preferred way to get my covers for a couple of different reasons. I like to work in real uh, formal straight line sections, uh, little sections at a time. So I normally end up um, cutting my cover paper when it comes all in one piece like this. Um, and also I have a little more tendency to rip them when I'm taking them off when they're in one piece. I didn't rip this side so far. That's about halfway. So I'll smooth this back down. And I'm going to pull this side up. Now this will be the side if that little dent creasy area at the edge there is going to cause any problems in my glue area. This is going to be where I'm going to see that. But hopefully I just don't see anything. Oh, I'm so excited to have a small piece to work on again. I just, 30 by 40 is really just sort of my sweet spot. Okay, there's that, this is the bottom, so there's the hands. Oh yeah. Okay, it doesn't really look like that is going to affect my glue at all, but I think right there at that edge I will put something heavy on it for a little bit just to be sure but it looks pretty good the glue looks like it's in fairly decent shape I am seeing some real small real fine rivers that are maybe just a tiny bit bubbled um, I don't know if I'm going to be, it's real small. You, I may not be able to get you at an angle where you can see it, but it's down here. I see the, oh yeah, you can see that right there. It's a very, very small, actually even smaller than it is appearing on that canvas, I think. So I don't know, I don't think that's going to affect anything. I may just run my X-Acto knife through that just to be on the safe side. I think down here on this end I saw some of the same sort of rivering. These uh, There is a little bit of like real fine wrinkled rivering on this end too. Um, I see that? A little bit bubbled. But they're so small, I don't even know that it would affect my drilling, but I will probably run my X-Acto knife through it just to be on the safe side. I don't think it's going to be anything that's going to cause me any problems, um, but I'll probably do that just to, just to be careful. Okay, let's see how this glue is. 
Oh, that's nice and sticky. Really good glue. The Evermoment glue usually does seem to be pretty good. Now, I bought this during the anniversary sale, so I did pay $18.20 for this. So it's a really good deal. It has 34 colors. There is the key. The symbols are pretty much the standard sort of ever moment. There's the thumbnail. That's going to be really pretty, I think, when it's done. Let's take a quick look at the drill filled. Let's see, I think it goes that way. Nice, clear symbol. See that? those real fine rivers, though? It'll be all right. We've got some absolutely gorgeous colors in this packet of drills already, I can tell. Oh my gosh. Just look at that purple at $5.50. Oh, that's so vibrant and so pretty. Even more vibrant than it's appearing on camera. We have $3.27. We have 154, real pretty lavendery purple, 209. Got some gray. Got kind of a, I don't know, super dusty uh, lavender, 3734. Oh, we have some 939s. Do we even have three tens in this? Nope, not a 310 to be seen. Some 865, 3756, which is a, just always a real pretty pale, almost like a translucent blue. I can't, I don't know how to describe it. 823, oh, I'm throwing drills all over the place. 208, that's another really pretty purple. We have 729. Some three and more three eight six fives. Oh, that's a pretty blue. One fifty seven. It looks like some pretty pink. Oh, that's not pink. That's a dark gray. People are gonna think I'm colorblind today. Nine thirty nine again. We've got three eight oh seven. That's a super pretty color. 501, oh, that's a pretty green. Green is my favorite color, so I love green. Um, 159, 779, more 550s, 500, another nice green. Got some sort of pale peach, uh, dusty pink, another pretty blue. Let's see what else is in here. What didn't come out? I don't know if we saw this one. 208. Real pretty purple color. Pale pink. Ah, some brown. What's a painting without some uh, nice shade of brown? It's kind of a brown with... It's 779, so... I don't know. It could just be this lighting, but... Uh, it's pretty much a dirt brown. 3726, kind of a dusty rose or dusty mauve. Ooh, 327. Yeah, we saw that one already, but that's just such a pretty color. Yeah, so there's a lot of really pretty colors. I'll do a formal inventory on this um, off camera because I don't know. I just don't think you need to, to sit through that, but Again, this is a 30 by 40 ever moment. I did purchase it during the AliExpress sale. Looks like it came to me in pretty good condition. Maybe some real small, tiny little rivers that I might want to, you know, run an X-Acto knife through just to be in the on the safe side, but nothing that's going to stress me out. Nothing that is going to be difficult to work with. In fact, I could probably just work with it exactly how it is, but I think I'll be on the safe side. Again, this is what it looks like. I'm not sure. Does it tell me what it call it, this is called? I don't know. I don't know. I can't remember what this one's called. I'll try to link this in the comments section below, but 
I would call this praying hands, I think. So, beautiful, beautiful piece. Thanks for joining me. As always, you can give this a thumbs up on your way out if you feel so inclined or not. Um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I'd love to have you do so. And thanks for joining me, and we'll see you real soon. Bye!